Hey guys, Aaron Jones here. Hey, this morning when I was building this website, um, I came across something that I just got super excited about, and I wanted to share it with you because it's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of money, okay? Especially if you use this plugin uh, for the purpose that it's supposed to be used for. Um, it's called WordPress Insert, the ultimate WordPress plugin, and it's an ad management plugin for WordPress. It is the ultimate ad sense. Uh, a friend of mine named Namath uh, developed this a while back and uh, what happened was is that it used to not be in the WordPress directory because it had security issues and so it used to be in there and then of course they took it out because I guess his plugin wasn't compliant I still used it but it wasn't in there so a lot of people couldn't get access to it uh, but I installed it today and there were some updates on it and let me tell you guys he knocked it out of the park on this one uh, it's just amazing all the updates that he put in there and it's free most importantly so let's take a look at it real quick. I already installed it here in my site. So if you have in post ads, you'll see here uh, you've got them above post content, middle of post content, below, left, or right of the content. Okay, now what's really neat about this is that you can actually just open this up. Your primary network, I don't know who it is you use. It could be AdSense, Chiquita, um, any of those networks or several of them I know of. Um, and just paste it in here. And then you have your rules, okay? Now this is gonna allow you to show or hide ads on different devices or pages on your website. So you can show ads to users that are logged in, show ads to mobile devices, archives, home page, um, single pages, search results page, single post, or your category archives. Um, I mean, you just, you basically have full control of where you want your ads to be, okay? And what you would typically do, let's say I don't have any posts set up yet, but I have some categories. Um, so let's say I wanted to show some ads on some categories, but I didn't want to show them on all of my categories, okay? Well, we won't do categories. Uh, where is it at? We'll do pages because I've got some pages on there. I typically don't like to, to have ads on my terms or my disclaimers uh, or privacy policies or anything like that. So I'll typically hide the ads, okay? But you have to adjust your exceptions. So these are all the pages. So if you don't want ads to go on these pages, all you do is just click on it and then save and then the ads will be hidden, okay? And you just click down there at the bottom and update it and you're done, okay? Once you do that, um, which is completely different. I mean, it's super easy because in the old days, let me just show you what we used to do. What we'd have to do is go over here to the pages and go to all pages here up in the top left corner. And then we would actually go here to the edit section right here, like affiliates is my first page. And then beneath it, way down there at the bottom, you'll see like post.php.post equals 22. Um, that would be your exception. So in the good old days, we'd have to break out a pen and paper and go through here and write down all these exceptions. There's 24, there's 14. And so then we'd have to go back into the, the WordPress plugin and then basically manually enter those in. So when I'm talking about saving time, I mean, it's just click, 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 and uh, those exceptions are already included in that, and you can show or hide those ads, okay? So it's super cool. Again, it works the same way for the middle post content, uh, left or right, uh, you know, anywhere you'd like to place your advertising. Now, the coolest thing about this, now this is completely free. Again, this is what blew me away, and, you know, I just wanted to share it. For those of you that are having a hard time getting privacy, terms, disclaimers, copyright notices, and so forth on your website, um, he's got it already built in, right here, and it's free, okay? All the information's right here. All you have to do is just up here, you'll see where it says site name in brackets, okay? And just put your website name in there. That's all you do, okay? And you just copy and paste, if you wanted to copy and paste. Now, here's the cool thing, assign pages. So let's say that you create your page. You can just go in here and assign a page, pick out which page it is that you created, and then just boom, click to generate. And it automatically puts everything in there for you. I mean, that is super easy. It's unbelievable. You can do the same thing with terms and conditions. If you have a money-making website, um, same thing. You got a disclaimer down here. You can add that to your site. You also have copyright notices in case you want to include that on there. So, I mean, it's loaded. It gives you all, all the stuff that you need uh, to get started for free. Um, tracking codes, it includes that as well. So if you want to put Google Analytics in it, you can, um, which is really super cool. Embed code in the header or the footer, if you choose to, automatically on your website. Because if you don't have the embed code 
in the header, which it beats a <clears throat> long, time, long time ago. Like, we'd have to go to appearance, and then we'd have to go to editor. I'm just going to show you how. I mean, this guy's made everything so simple, it's not even funny. So then we'd have to go in here and mess with the style sheet. Okay, so we'd have to go all the way over here, and then find the header, PHP. And uh, it's down here at the bottom somewhere. Or a single page post. Like, let's just say you went to single page post, PHP, or whatever. You would insert code there to change everything. Okay, and so um, this was difficult for most people. You know, if you have a theme that doesn't have a built-in uh, place to insert uh, code in, like the Avada theme, which I talk about all the time. I build all my sites with it. Uh, if we go to appearance and then, of course, theme options, uh, we'll go over here to uh, general, up top. Looks like my Firefox is overloading here. Okay. Well, anyways, they have a, a section there that you can actually insert code as well. So, um, but WordPress insert allows you to do it if you don't have that feature on, on some of the, the less expensive themes because they don't have all that fancy stuff in it. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to show you this. My Firefox crashed. Uh, but anyways, thank God I almost got through the entire uh, the video. But uh, again, legal pages, in post ads, left, right, below, middle, or above. You got your tracking codes. And if you're running different ad networks and you decide that you would like to do some A-B testing, you can over here and you can configure it. Uh, I would read about it. I haven't, you know, messed with that. But again, you know, check it out. It's free. Download it if you're using AdSense. Um, you know, and you, and you need terms uh, for your site. I would still download the plugin because you can still get that information for free. Okay. So I hope this video helps you guys out. Uh, be looking for my next one. Talk to you later.